Here's all the things I'm not allowed to do when I'm living at home with a mom that has all these issues. He's in his mom's room? <gasps> Don't! <Why is> every... <laughs> <laughs> this touch this and this touch this. Oh my god! Controversial topic alert. You've never seen me do that at the beginning of a video before. And sometimes we talk about some pretty hard hitting stuff. Oh my god. Guys, we need to fire up the controlled empathy, okay? Woo! Have you guys ever dealt with contamination OCD before? Before we get into this video, I really wanna take a moment and give this some grace. I am somebody that has really bad ADHD. I'm very, very messy. It's just not something that I personally deal with. So I started to dig up a few Reddit posts so I could understand this a little bit better before we watch the video. This person posted, contamination OCD is hell. I have contamination OCD and it's ruining my life. I have to wash my hands at least five times and dry them on a specific towel before touching my face or clothes. I can't eat food with bare hands. Switching on the lights, opening windows, or touching door handles is a real quest for me. I have to wash, wash, wash until it's clean. I feel so embarrassed that I can't just do the things anyone else considers them normal to do. I suffer from a variety of things, including atopic dermatitis, other types of eczema, blisters, and bleeding because of it. My mind just never shuts up. If you touch my stuff, I will spend 15 minutes disinfecting them. I miss the times where I could just touch everything without thinking about it twice. I shouldn't have taken it for granted. Oh, that makes me so sad. Just wash your hands one time and get over with it. Quote, they said, I really can't do that. And if I could, I'd be fine now. Do any of you guys like not relate to this, but understand how this could just be horrible? I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I'm a messy little bitch. I can just... Dude, I like I could lick the gavel right now if I needed to, but some of you guys, that would send you into a spiral if I licked this right now, wouldn't it? I'm not gonna talk with you. Someone said, contamination OCD is ruining my life. I am probably going to quit my job because of it. I am so done. I can't eat, sleep, work, have good relationships, sit on the damn couch, play with my pets, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm doing a thing about OCD. How does it feel living with me? Oh, my boyfriend has OCD. Like, like literally, man's has it, okay? Um, so wait, can I read you this post? And I know you don't have contamination, but I don't, this doesn't, it doesn't register for me. Okay, they said, I think it's hard for people to understand. I'm not afraid of getting ill from germs. I'm afraid of their presence everywhere. I don't think that the particles of feces will make me sick. I'm just upset that it's everywhere and it has the potential to contaminate everything. Same goes with other contaminants. Whenever I tell someone this, they don't seem to understand why I would worry if I'm not going to get sick. And then I start to wish that I had a normal mind like these people. Like, do you get that? Them feeling like, oh my God, it's everywhere. It's overwhelming. If there's one thing out of order, then everything else starts to get out of order and then I'm never going to be able to get it to stop. It's like a snowball. And then eventually you have to just like stop everything you're doing and clean it all at once. And then like you have to do all of it like in total. What do you mean? Like I cleaned the house this weekend, but like I didn't organize like the stuff in our bedroom yet. And it's like <laughs> sitting in the back of my mind. Are you serious? Yeah. I just black it all out. I know. That's okay. But okay, so, but wait, what does it feel like? Does it feel like, you said it's like a snowball. Does it feel like it's gonna get you? I don't, it's a discomfort. You don't even, I don't even know how to put it into words. It's just like a discomfort that, that that's not taken care of and I need to go get like it off. Like you have to. Yeah. Do you feel like something bad's gonna happen if you just leave it? I don't know if I feel like something bad's gonna happen, but I feel like I can't move on to the next task or like, um, like I can't focus, like to go work. Like I, I got it all done this weekend so I could go to work today. Oh my God, somebody said it's like an itch. Yeah, yeah. Someone said I have a quest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I need to sound off from my ADHD people here for a second. Do you guys know what the f they're talking about? <laughs> Dude, did you know I can just shut down my brain and just not think about anything? If somebody has like contamination OCD, and it's okay if you can't answer this, do you think it's like, if they're thinking a lot about germs on like one thing, it yeah. start they start to notice it everywhere and think a lot about like, totally. like, totally. like now that's on the desk. What? Now, the, like you just set that hammer down. If the germs were on there, now that's on the desk for sure. What? You don't know. It's like because it touched it. It's like the same concept. It's just different. Mine's like organization. Okay. Mine's like things need to be in their proper place, <laughs> or I feel uncomfortable. 
Okay, okay, okay. That's all I need. I I just wanted like a little. <laughs> Bye, guys. We have read people's experiences. We have tried to walk in their shoes, even though they wouldn't like that. And we have consulted with the only available expert that we have. Now, we are gonna go to the other side. OCD people, can you can, can you cut me some slack? I've tried I've I've tried to pitch your side as much as possible. How to enter a house controlled by a mom that has OCD, germophobia, BPD, narcissism, schizophrenia, depression, ADHD. Um, to me, those all seem like a lot of conflicting uh, things to him. So I don't, we don't know the accuracy of that. But what he goes on today does very much seem like OCD. So we're just gonna focus on that and his experience. Here's what it's like to enter in the house that's controlled by an extreme germaphobe mom. I'm usually not allowed to enter in through the front door. My mom wants everyone to enter in through the garage because she believes the inside of my shoes are dirty. So I gotta switch to sandals, but I actually take off my socks first and put it in there. It says, I'm wearing fresh socks in my sandals because they haven't been in shoes yet, so they're quote, clean. And also, I don't give a because she's not home right now. And then close the garage door, but I gotta wait until it's closed all the way first. And that's because she believes that light attracts flies and then she doesn't want the kitchen door opened. So she wants the kitchen door to stay closed until the garage door is closed so no flies can fly in. Now my house is two stories high, but I'm only restricted to the first floor. That's the first thing like I wanna mention. Yes, we are really trying to give grace to the contamination OCD because it is a severe debilitating disability. Like it's a mental like disorder. You guys that have terrible ADHD, imagine you can't sit anywhere. You can't touch anything. You can't eat food with your hands without freaking out. And like, that's, that's just, that's how it, it's, that's horrible. You know, that's fucking horrible. But then also on the flip side, that's crazy to live in a house where you're not allowed to go upstairs because your mom thinks you're dirty. Like, what is that going to do to somebody? This is the only chair that she sits on in the kitchen to eat by herself. And she makes my dad sit in that one clean chair, and then these are my chairs. Anyways, I usually just walk into my room and chill by myself and close the door and like shut everything out. This room is extremely big. Yeah, it's a really nice house, but I don't feel happy in it. Oh. Cause here comes the other restrictions. I'm not allowed to use the other bathroom because it's clean for my mom. <gasps> I'm only allowed to use my bathroom in here. This feels like an extreme thing that his mom is dealing with or not dealing with actually, and then projecting it onto everybody in the house. This is a prison. It's a prison. And also, can you imagine how sad it is if like, you know, the husband, if you married your wife and everything was like, okay, and then the, OCD like amplified and she like never dealt with it. We keep accommodating to the disorder and the stress and everything. And then it just continues to get worse. And now, well, we'll see what else there is in here. She still doesn't allow me to sit on these chairs or sit on these sofas right here because it's clean. Here's the weird part. She doesn't sit on them either because she thinks it's too dirty for her, but it's cleaner than me. So therefore I am the dirtiest. I cannot sit on these kind of clean sofas. But then she's way cleaner and she cannot send these either. So Ugh. no one just sits on them. I'm allowed to the bedroom next That's to so my sad. bedroom because this used to be a living room renovated as another bedroom. This is actually my sister's room. This is where my friend was staying actually earlier because my sister's gone to college. Did you hear that? He said my friend was staying here earlier. I was shocked when I heard that. I was like, this sounds, this sounds like a prison, but your friend was allowed to come over? Does he know the rules? <laughs> like, does he know the rules? I'm actually not allowed to go upstairs, even though we have two more rooms. My dad stays in that room up there. My mom stays in the room down the hall. Right now they're out. So usually they will come back, transfer from the shoe and step directly into these shoes. You cannot oh step God. on anything else because it's dirty. You have to step from your shoe directly into these shoes. And then my parents will walk around this house in sandals so their feet stay clean. But then they transfer to another set of sandals when they go upstairs. I feel really, really awful for this guy. Like, I don't know if he's over 18 and he's able to move out yet or if he has the means to or whatever. He looks like he's pretty young. I am really, really bummed out 
it, whatever it's going to do to him being told that he's dirty and he can't do things. But even outside of being dirty, what if he has this fear of contamination as well? It gets passed on to him and it amplifies. Some people that have it now, they actually got it from their parents and now they have it 10 times worse than their parents. But also, I feel really bad for the parents. And it sounds like maybe the dad, either he also feels this way or he's just complying with what his wife wants. They feel like they have to come home and change into this shoe immediately and then change into the upstairs shoe and wash the shoes all the time. And then they're constantly thinking, oh my God, this touched this and this touched this and I can't do this. And like, can you imagine like, it's like painting yourself into a corner and just laying in bed and feeling like, oh my God, I can't do anything. And you feel like a real genuine fear. I don't know if you guys are following because it's complicated. I have restrictions. I've never been upstairs ever since we moved back to my childhood home. Also, okay, <laughs> bro. Also, I'm just gonna say this. <laughs> this isn't this isn't true for everyone, but sometimes people that have like really severe OCD, when they get an OCD trigger, it is sharp and fast. When some of us get emotional triggers from like complex PTSD, there's like kind of a either like a, a a way up in a breaking point or there's kind of like a wave up and down till we get to this like emotional breaking point but sometimes with some people that have really severe ocd they immediately know i don't like that so i i just can't imagine the stress that they feel the immediate like time that they notice something and they're like i don't like that and then also the person on the receiving end is like yo like what what's up with that you know all right we got one more video Here's all the things I'm not allowed to do when I'm living at home with a mom that has all these issues. Because I'm dirty and my mom's clean, I'm not allowed to cook in the kitchen. I'm not allowed to use this dining table. I'm not allowed to use this half of the table, only this half because it's mine and it's dirty. This side is clean, it's from my dad. Uh -huh. I'm not allowed to go inside this bathroom. I'm not allowed to use this printer or the TV. No one's allowed to sit on the sofa and chair inside the living room. But I don't give a because my mom's not home. Dude, that part's really interesting to me because on one hand, like I get it. He's like, he's like, F this, like this is too much. You're being too much. You're making bullshit rules that don't exist. And I get that. But then on the other hand, if his mom were to see him sit on that couch, she would either not go in there for a year or she'd be obsessively cleaning it all night, trying to get every little thread underneath the couch because she's afraid of all the germs that are on there now. And that's stressful. Oh my God. I have an area in the refrigerator that only me, I can use. It's oh right here. All the dirty stuff is right here. Everything else here is clean. I'm not allowed to go upstairs because the entire upstairs is clean. It's divided by clean sandals and they also have dirty sandals that they use downstairs. But I don't give a f right now because again, they're not home. So I'm f going upstairs. I don't give a f Okay. And my mom's room just looks like a f mental asylum he's in his mom's room how do, how do we get up here okay wait she has two beds do you guys think contamination ocd people sh he said that his dad has to sleep in another room and that this is his mom's room okay she has two beds do you think there's like a thing where like she usually sleeps in one bed but if something happens like she's got the other bed as backup and that one's like clean at what point are we respecting and then not enabling? And I ask that for like, if you're dealing with a person that has this in their life, ultimately helping them is helping them not have to suffer with this, right? But there's respectful ways to do it. What the f is going on? She hides stuff up here too. So I know a lot of sh that she's lying, literally. <gasps> don't- <Why> is, it <laughs> is it bad that my thought was just, don't touch the light switch? <laughs> Wait, am I switching over to the mom side? Because I get it. I like, damn, I came into this thinking about the like the sun and like how messed up it is to live in that type of home. She does have a f sewing machine, so she is lying to me. She told me it's not working. <laughs> the LCD people know exactly why she did that. They're like, I they're like, I get it. But yeah, my theory kind of applies is that my mom has been going crazier and crazier. Mm. Her OCD before made her stuff actually so really neat, organized in, in an mm. aesthetic and artistic way. Because my mom was a graphic designer growing up. That's oh. where I got the art talent from. 
but her other disorders are taking over her ocd just getting worse she places stuff in a very peculiar way that keeps stuff clean and also more convenient for her so to the average organized person or a person with slight ocd her room did not look aesthetic at all it's just crazy I don't know, man. She needs help, but she just won't get it. How many of you guys have parents that definitely need help and they're just like past the point? Like it, nothing is going to like therapy is not going to help. You don't, you know, I feel bad for both, but I didn't expect myself to uh, feel as much stress for the mom as I, I, I had, I felt more stress for her than I expected. Maybe, maybe I did this little segment unfairly. Maybe I focused too much on looking at the OCD aspect of it before I looked at, maybe there were more Reddit posts that I could have looked at of um, kids that grew up in these type of homes and how that affected them growing up. But you know what? Leave it in the comments. I want to know. I thought this was a really, really, really interesting topic. I didn't grow up in a home like this. I don't like suffer from OCD. And also a reminder, guys, OCD is so, so much more than contamination or cleanliness or organization. It's so, so much more than that. It's repetitive thoughts. It's lists. It's repetitive gestures, movements, feeling like I need to put this down three times or something bad is going to happen. But let's also not forget about the people that are suffering with contamination OCD just because we're trying to break the stigma. Uh, let's not forget about them too. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments because I just thought that this was a very interesting topic to talk about.